Okay, welcome to the Color Gear Inside Premiere Pro tutorial. Okay, you can see I've already uh, put some adjustment layers in here and I've labeled them. Uh, if you go to metadata, you can see that uh, this one's labeled minus green, this one's labeled steel blue, uh, this one is labeled generate, and this one is lab labeled read. And we'll get to those later, but you can see they're not activated currently. So our raw footage, if we turn these adjustment layers off, looks like something like this. Uh, this is shot on the GH2. Uh, and uh, so uh, did some minus green. Uh, you can see in the effects controls over here that I've dropped that down a little bit. If it's all the way up, it looks really magenta. But uh, I just wanted to take a little bit of green out of the skin. Uh, so drop it back down to there and mix it. Uh, and then here is a steel, uh, steel blue uh, correction, which if it's cranked up, looks you know pretty ostentatious. I mean, that's it's pretty out there, which you might want for some footage, but for this particular shot, I want to dial that back down. So I'll go with something about uh, about like that. Okay, that's a really quick grade uh, with uh, with Color Gear. Um, now uh, to show you what, what I'm doing here, I'm actually using something called LUT Buddy. Uh, you installed that uh, if you hopefully watched the installation tutorial, uh, and you know how to get LUT Buddy inside of uh, Premiere Pro. And in this case, uh, I'm actually going to uh, I'm going to back up. Actually, first I'm going, to, I'm going to skip ahead and I'm going to back up and show you how I did all of this. But uh, I do want to show you that you're going to get some weird results without rendering. Um, uh, for instance, if I were to uh, to work in here for a while, I would actually get uh, some stuff would actually stick in the memory in Premiere Pro. Um, and I'll show you what, what happens with that in a minute. But the way you fix that is to actually just render your work area or render your footage and uh, everything will display just fine. So. Uh, first things first, um, I want to generate a draw pattern. Uh, and the way you do that is, uh, as you can see, I've, I've got you've got apply LUT, which applies a LUT. You've got draw pattern, read pattern, and then preview gamma and gain. In this particular case, I want to draw a pattern. And you can see the pattern pops up on the footage here. Uh, you have to make sure that you see it. If you don't see it, uh, LUT Buddy can't see it and it won't read it. Uh, so I go up to uh, the top adjustment layer here and I have it set to read pattern so let me go ahead and turn that on um, and the way that your signal flow works in Premiere Pro it's just like After Effects uh, it starts at the footage and moves up through each adjustment layer and then comes out on top here which is the opposite of Final Cut Pro in which it um, everything works in a window like this and everything moves from top to bottom uh, and in, in the case of your effects controls everything in your effects controls works from top to bottom as well uh, but in this particular case, we're going to go bottom to top. We're going to read or draw here, read here, and then we're going to click this little control panel here, the setup, and we're going to say export that LUT, and we're going to export it as uh, Premiere Pro Test. You can say I've already done it before, and then click OK, uh, and then click OK here, and now it's exported. So if now if I want to apply that look as it's now baked into the footage, what I would do is uh, uh, turn off all these, go grab an adjustment layer from the media browser, or from over here, I'm sorry. Um, these all have names on them, so I'm gonna create a new one. So to create a new adjustment layer, you uh, click New, Adjustment Layer, uh, Width, uh, I wanna go Square Pixels, 1920 by 1080, and uh, I'm gonna click OK. And then I'm just gonna drag that into the timeline here. I'm going to match it up to the size of my footage and then I'm going to go to effects, uh, video effects, magic bullet colorista, left buddy, drag left buddy up here into the uh, effects controls. And I want to apply a LUT, I want to import that LUT that I just exported, um, Premiere Pro Test Cube, click OK. And you can see nothing happened. And, the, and you'll see stuff pop outside the, the preview area, it's popping on and off. Um, so what you actually have to do is you actually have to go to here, Sequence, and Render Effects and Work Area. And you can see it works. Just now it's, it's appearing just fine. And now that's one adjustment layer. And it's, it's identical to if I were to turn this off and turn these two back on. You can see it's the exact same grade. And what this does for you really is it allows you to grade your footage and then export that grade as a single LUT, bring it back in, um, delete all of these uh, and have just one single adjustment layer 
with the correction on top of it, which will speed up your renders immensely. Uh, so it probably will cut the render time down by uh, what it would be if you actually left all the layers in, probably by at least a half, if not two thirds. Um, so that's basically how that works. So the basics of color gear for Premiere Pro, uh, if you wanna see what all the gears do, um, there is a, there's a video, in fact, um, let's go over there right now. Uh, right now, this is the, the, the Pro Member Downloads. If you haven't already installed LutBuddy, you can do that here. If you don't have DaVinci Resolve Lite, get that right now. You're, you're, I, I can't stress that enough. Uh, it will change your life. I mean, it sounds like hyperbole, but it really will change your life. Uh, download the grain overlays. Um, but we'll get into those later. Uh, but you're going to want to go over to uh, the CG Pro Tutorials. Uh, you'll see here this little video. You're going to watch this. This will walk you through pretty much all the gears and what they do. Uh, this was done in After Effects. Um, when, you're, when you're watching this, I might have actually replaced this with one that was done uh, in DaVinci. But for now, uh, if, you're, if you're just coming here, uh, just go through. There's a couple of gears in the After Effects version that aren't in Pro, and there's some things in the Pro version that aren't in the After Effects version. Uh, but this is the basic walkthrough to kind of get you familiar with it. Um, and then, of course, as you watch the tutorials, you'll see me using all the gears, and so you'll, you'll learn more and more. Um, and then, uh, of course, there will be just the one for Final Cut, and you'll have the one for Premiere Pro, and everything like that. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, labeling is important. Uh, let me show you how to label it. You're going to uh, select your, your adjustment layer. Uh, you're going to go to Metadata, and you're going to grab this, and we're just going to call it... Uh, First one we're going to show you is density. Um, let's go ahead and, and move this one all the way down. Um, let's add an, uh, adding um, adjustment layers here is not as fun or as easy as it is in uh, in After Effects because you have to keep doing this. Um, so you might want to have a bunch created uh, that you use all the time. Let's see. Let's go uh, square pixels, and uh, we'll drag that one in here. Um, and uh, uh, we're probably going to use simply warmer. And uh, definitely want to use the minus green, uh, just because it's a GH2 and everything kind of comes out a little green. Um, And since these layers came in, let's go ahead and grab density. You can see now it's actually labeled in here where you can see it, and simply warmer. Okay. Ow. Effects controls. Let's grab our effects here. Let's grab Love Buddy. Love Buddy. Okay, now we have all these in here, and they have left buddy in them. And so let's go with the first one, minus green. Let's go import LUT. This is why you want this here. Um, <coughs> it's where it's easy to get to, because it'll speed things up a little bit. Uh, minus green. There we go. And click OK. You can just double click it to select it. Uh, same thing with density. We're going to go here. And import LUT. Density. Uh, okay. Um, Oops. Effects controls and simply warmer, which is in the gears here. Warm, simply warmer. And there we go. And you see nothing changed because these are all off. So let's turn them on. And there's our, our full grade, which is a little dense. Um, our density is a little high. So let's go ahead and grab the opacity and slide that down. And see that's brightening up the image a little bit so I've got uh, got a nice little nice little gray going in here and that's it I mean it's really that simple so I've managed to in a couple seconds pretty much grade this footage I've got nice skin tone uh, I've got a warm image if it's, if it's too warm no problem just grab the opacity drag it down a little bit 
so, but what this does, what this really does allow, if you watch the, uh, the video where I talk about um, uh, precision grading, uh, this DSLR footage will push really, really far. So, uh, in other words, if I were to uh, take this density layer and um, let's, uh, let's drag this up here and um, come up and uh, copy our LUT buddy, paste it so it's even more dense. Uh, and then grab the density. Now we can go really dark. I mean, you can see, you can double up, but you can see I'm, I'm really crushing this footage, and yet the footage isn't falling apart. The reason is because of the precision grading, uh, which allows you to maintain the integrity of your footage for longer, so that eventually when you do have to bend your footage, because you will, to, to be able to, to change the characteristic of, a, of an image to make it, to go from like the cool side to the warm side, or, you know, I mean like all the way cool to all the way warm, or all the way warm to all the way cool, or to, to really kind of manipulate the image, you do have to bend it a little bit. Uh, and uh, as a result, uh, especially with DSLR footage, uh, it'll start falling apart. But what Color Gear allows you to do is to maintain the integrity of the footage for longer, so that when you do have to bend your footage, you don't have to bend it that far, uh, and there's enough leeway still left in the image so that it doesn't completely fall apart and you don't start getting uh, crazy banding and uh, um, uh, noise and grit and, uh, macro blocking, et cetera. So um, that's basically it. And then of course you can do what I did at the beginning. You can add, uh, you know, you can add a, a, a read and a generate or a generate and a read. You know, just grab these adjustment layers and, and uh, drag them up like there. And let's put a generate in and a read. Um, stretch them out. And uh, Wish you, I wish you could right-click like you can in After Effects to add stuff, but Premiere Pro is not really made for this kind of work. Uh, you really want to grade in something else. So I want to draw a pattern here. I want to apply Lut Buddy and read pattern and export this grade and go to the custom LUTs. Or if you want, you, you can put them in here too. You can put uh, in your custom folder. You can see I've actually left you with some stuff that I've that I've been working with on other projects. Um, just call it uh, test and OK. And then uh, we'll just um, delete all of these. Uh, for now, I'll just grab, just call it a density, just for sake of speed. Uh, my buddy, let's import. You can see it. Love Buddy already did something. Well, let me let me stop for a second. I didn't apply anything to this layer. There's nothing applied there, and yet it's already affecting the footage. But you see it popping off. This is just a, a rendering thing. You see, it's it's running off the rendered image in here. So I would have to uh, delete render files, and then and there. So now everything's back to normal. Nothing's really applied in this area. And now we want to apply our LUT that we just saved, import LUT, uh, test, OK. And you can see, again, it's showing me render files, so delete the render files. Yes. And there is the export that we put in, and, and now this should render up pretty quickly. It just cranks right through. And there you have your that grade that we just did. And now it's on one single layer, and this should render out of Premiere Pro pretty fast. Uh, those of you that are coming from Color Gear Toolkit, uh, I suggest you do your grades in After Effects or DaVinci, and then export them as a 3D LUT from DaVinci, which I'll show you how to do in the DaVinci tutorials. Uh, uh, or the, do, do the same thing, use LUT Buddy inside After Effects to export the, the look. Uh, and then bring it in here and just apply it to a single layer, because it'll save you a lot of time. Uh, I, I've been working with Premiere Pro here for a while, and it's really kind of clunky. Uh, I'm sure most of you realize that it's, it's faster to work in After Effects. Uh, it's definitely faster to work in DaVinci. Uh, but then if you, if you want to render out of Premiere Pro, then you can just bring everything in. So that's the basic overview for working in Premiere Pro. If you have any questions, email me, colorgear at gmail.com. Uh, I encourage you, please, please, please learn DaVinci. Um, uh, it, will, it really will change your life. Uh, and um, it'll make your workflow 
I think it'll give you a, a more professional workflow. You'll get much better results. Um, but if you need to, obviously, you can just work with Caligar here in Premiere Pro all day long. Um, and uh, I will show you some tips and tricks later on with working with sequences and how to how to sort of uh, maybe pre-comp some stuff here to speed up your, your grades. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you know, in this particular case, I could take this LUT buddy and I can delete this layer if I wanted to and just apply it to the footage. I can just grab LUT buddy, put it on the footage, import that grade, uh, and there you go. And just render it there. There's your look. So once you have the LUT by itself, you can apply it straight to the footage and you don't have to worry about using adjustment layers anymore. But if you want to mix your, your results, if you want to mix your footage, obviously you do need to use adjustment layers. But once you've got the look created, then you can apply the look to the footage all by itself. And obviously you can copy that look um, and paste it you know, to as many clips as you want. So that's it. Uh, see you next time and uh, happy grading.